I'll do any, any, any other uh, delays. I'm going to ask our, our pastoral regional coordinator, Ernie Luis, to come up to the program and introduce a very important person to us. And I'm told I have, I'm, I have a job? Yes, please. Who is Brian Amy? Somebody, PowerPoint, please. <laughs> <laughs> to know him is to know his roots. Brian was born in Southampton, which is the largest city in the county of Hampshire. It has been inhabited since the Stone Age, age and was under the rule of the Romans and the Saxons. Now for clarification, Brian did not live at that time. It has the longest surviving stretch of medieval walls in England. It is a major port, one of the largest commercial ports in Europe. It has two major universities with a population of 40,000 students. And the recreation includes English football, hockey, rugby, and cricket. Southampton has a rich history. Shipping and docks, a college town, sports, and a pub on almost every corner with a selection of traditional ales. <coughs> Brian joined the Royal Air Force, the Serial Warfare Service branch of the British Armed Forces. It is the oldest independent air force in the world. Oh, I said serial bridge is serial. <laughs> it's the oldest independent air force in the world. Spitfire was an incredible aircraft used by the Royal Air Force, and some were powered by a Rolls-Royce Griffin engine. Hence, Brian's email address of Griffin Spitfire. Okay, Brian obtained his degree and began his career in retail banking. He and Margaret <coughs> fell in love, and they moved to the United States, Connecticut, in 1995. Brian joined the Newtown Rotary Club and became a Rotarian in 2000. <laughs> now, what happens next? To be determined. However, what happens next is up to you. The choices you make, the projects you do. Local and international opportunities galore, areas of focus, <coughs> scholarships, and more. Brian will lead and do his part with peace through service in his heart. My pleasure to introduce to you Brian Amy. this afternoon. Is there a surgeon in the house, by the way? <laughs> I need to help in a minute. But uh, I was playing with my Swiss army knife, trying to cut string, etc. And it slipped, of course. Do you know, the blood that came out of here was blue and yellow. <laughs> I have to thank a multitude of people, so forgive me. Uh, this is random, this is not any particular order, but first, it's got to be first. Uh, my thanks to Margaret and to the family. Uh, thank you for your support and thank you for coming today. Um, thank you particularly to Joanne. Jo, I don't think she knows what she's led herself into, but she's going to be conference coordinator uh, for May 2013. May 2013, you've got it all booked, yes? You're coming? Yes. Yes. Well, yes. Sarasota Springs. Pick up a leaf on the way out. Saratoga. Did I say Saratoga? Yes. I'm sorry, I have too many genes. Saratoga. <laughs> New York. <laughs> Thank you, Jeff, for a great uh, um, inspirational 
session. You fantastic auctioneer. I mean, you can come back any time you like. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, fat chance. <laughs> Did I, did I say that a lot? If, if you get your expenses signed, come back. I get your indoor voice. My congratulations to Rupi uh, for a great year. Forty whatever, whatever, two days to go. Then you're a has been, and that. I wish you well. Enjoy the rest. Thank you. I've got some of the eager food. Anyway, don't don't go away too far. My next item on the list was two people who are going to be sitting here tonight. That was the um, first electman of Newtown and her husband Bob. Well, unfortunately the budget failed in Newtown uh, last night, so she had to attend a finance committee meeting. So she's probably still in session trying to work out how the hell they're going to get a bit budget through in Newtown. So, uh, sorry she's not here. But she actually is a very good supporter of Newtown Rotary. She's also a very good supporter of, of Newtown Labour Day committee, and I'm very happy to see some Labour Day representatives here tonight. There's one missing. Where is she? Home. Home? Oh, I'll sort right later. But thank you for coming. It was, it was great for you to support me. And now you know why I won't be on your team uh, next year. So I'm sorry about that. I would say a big thank you to Newtown Savings Bank, of course. Um, for their support, they've been giving me over the last couple of years and what they're going to be doing over the next year in particular. <laughs> thank you to John John Costa, thank you to Jim Cotter, and thank to Doug and Hensel. You guys, we should have bought our bags and got John to go something. We'd have much more fun. <laughs> we'll do that next time. I'm actually surprised uh, to see where well, she's gone. What happened to her? Where's Karen? She's ruining one of my jokes. <laughs> She's probably gone to mop up Woodbury Ranch. We had trouble last Friday, the sprinkler sort of kind of burst, and she's been operating in the, in the parking lot in Woodbury in a tent in her flippers. So <laughs> we're, we're reminded that she's going to go back to work tomorrow. The no noisy tables over the back there happen to be my wonderful club at Newtown. Thank them for my support, for their support to me. And guys, you've got to still want me for the next year, please. Um, we're going to need you. Just going back a little bit, thank you, Judy, for some wonderful flowers tonight. You did a great job. I realise also that all of you have had an expensive week this week. You not only had an installation like this, you probably had your own installation dinner. So you're probably short of at least a couple of hundred, a couple of ponies, as they say in England. Um, I'm very grateful for you being here and some great support. Thank you. Thank you too to the district leadership team uh, who are here tonight. Um, you are the best, and I know you're going to demonstrate you're the best over the next year. Uh, thank you for joining the team and supporting. But a very special thanks to the district event team, something which kind of evolved as we started my district um, governor in next year. We evolved this event team to organise everything that ever happens in the district. But in particular tonight, I want to thank Chip. All right, Chip, over the back. The first class job for tonight. Thank you, Douglas, for doing the registration job. First class again. Uh, and thank you to Ed for the Master Ceremonies. Extreme uh, I'm sure I've missed somebody on this list, but I'm just thank you everybody for your support. One thing I must do though before that, uh, I've got to thank all the past district governors who are here uh, and those who will be supporting during my year, particularly PDG Ernie Louise, who somehow managed to research all that information about me, some of it I wasn't quite sure about, but yes, <laughs> In interesting history. Thank you, Ernie. Thank you, Jim uh, Lang, for putting on the uh, the AV. I needed it particularly tonight, and needed lost my voice already. Um, thank you, Jim, for that. Um, thank you also for uh, DG Rick, and look, he's not here, 
But I say to you, stick with the chaps. This is all yours next year. Finally, I want to remember two special people. I'm thinking in particular of PDG Ed Osterman, who was my original mentor, rotary mentor, <coughs> and my friend Mike Snyder, Sergeant Arms at Newtown, who helped me when I first arrived in New in, from the UK, encouraged me in my rotary career, and I know he has a great champion, was a great champion in my banking career. We also had a golf partner, dragging me out, you know, I said dragging, dragging me out to Heritage most weekends, um, and Mike, I miss you, and I'm thinking of you, and I'm looking forward to getting out to play a few rounds maybe later this year, and I'll be thinking of you then. Thank you guys, I, I really do appreciate everything you Davis, our MC tonight, frequently, and I've heard him say, Rotary is all about the clubs, which is totally correct. District leadership is set up to help the clubs achieve their plan goals. I've heard most of your planning guides, I think, which is quite exceptional. Uh, and I want to help you achieve those goals. All the presidents will soon be, all the presidents elect will soon be presidents in two days time, as Ruby keeps reminding us. Uh, they all attended PETS, the presidents elect training seminars in one form or another, um, whether it was Framingham or Meriden or Stratford or even the one on one in the club, we had to adapt. But we managed to get through the, the training sessions and I think eventually everybody understood what it was all about. During those sessions, they would have heard all about the ROI strategic plan. Improve media coverage, strengthen clubs and increase membership, broaden our humanitarian services. All three are interlinked. Can't do without, one can't do without the other. I hope all the clubs in the district are adopting a basis of that plan for success. And I know most of them are. The district is here to help. Kathy Charlie, District Membership Chair, will have a new membership development program available very shortly. Um, I was told last night that actually is online and we'll have to tell you how to get at it. We thought it was going to be a package, it wasn't quite a package, it's online, of course. So, who was talking about doing something technical? <laughs> They're getting, getting with it, Sarah. Um, the idea, of course, is to break that 1.2 million love jam. Susan Sprano, our district PR media relations chair, will also be helping us later on this year. Hopefully we'll be here in, in, in July, so that we can run our two special PR and ad campaigns in September and March. The other members of the, the district leaders have seen Brian Bishop, community chair, Linda Hammond, international chair, Judy Reppenhagen, uh, new generations chair, Matt Peach in the foundation team, are all ready to help the humanitarian projects. They're in the book, don't be shy, call them. We are still reeling from the effects of the recession. Our communities need, need help probably more than any time right now. I know most of, you are, are, most of you are part of clubs that work hard to satisfy the needs of the less, less fortunate. I suggest to you we need to go above and beyond Create that extra project or add an old project, add to an old project that needs that little bit extra. Whatever you do, tell the world, get recognition and support. This thing gets in the way. Colors. <laughs> it's tradition that the district governor creates a pin. I've got one on. Um, and their message. Um, for his or her particular year. We talked about it earlier. Rupees was an ad adaptation of the Indian flag. This thick in the middle. His ended up looking a bit like a dartboard, you know, throw darts in there. <laughs> Julie's was advertising candles. I don't know how many sold Julie, but you did quite well with, it, with it, your uh, um, design. Mine happens to be a bunch of feathers. And actually, the effect to, to Julie on this 
if you notice on all the centerpieces there's feathers and that's my theme or part of my theme um, for 2012-2013. The focus of my year is derived from a Charles Dickens quotation, a Brit of course. He wrote such classics as The Old Curiosity Shop, Oliver Twist and Nicholas Nickleby. The quotation, no one is useless in this world who lightens the burden of it for another. And I've squeezed it down so it can go on the bench. Lighten the burden for others. Churchill was a famous, has a quite famous quote known as the few. Those who uh, lived in the UK in the days of World War II know what the few was and were. Dates back to the Battle of Britain. And the quotation is, never in the field of human conflict was so much owed by so many to so few. You should actually do it in Churchill's voice. I can't do that. And he was talking about my other interest, the Spitfires, as, as uh, Ernie said just now. I hope uh, I will be able to adapt that quotation at the end of my rotary year, and it reads something like this. Never in the field of community service has so much owed, was so much owed, by so many to so few. And the so few, in this case, are the 61 clubs of District 7980. Thank you, everybody.